All right, guys, so SHOT Show is huge, and I didn't have a chance to look at everything today, but this is the first day of SHOT Show. It is the end of the first day, and so I put together a selection of a couple of the things that really jumped out at me from this year that I thought are pretty cool. And uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at those. I'm not trying to do any significant in-depth video here at the show this year. Um, I figure most of the stuff I will get my hands on samples uh, to show you guys in proper good detail once they're actually on the market. So without any further ado, here are the uh, handful of things that really jumped out at me today. All right, so one of the cool things here at SHOT Show this year is the Angstad Arms PCC. They have gone from doing a, well, they still do, a symbol blowback 9mm PCC, but they have also introduced a roller delayed one. Now, they had this at SHOT Show last year, um, really sort of as a prototype thing, and they are getting ready to actually put it into production. And so, there it is. Uh, did a little bit of shooting with this out at range day. It's pretty darn cool. I'm not going to film anything here because I'm going to be getting a, a T&E sample from them to do some more substantial video on uh, back at home in the next month or two. So that is coming. As a bunch of people have seen in their early uh, press release, FN is in fact re-releasing the high power. They have a couple different examples of them here, and they've actually done a number of, made a number of changes to the design. The magazine capacity is better, the takedown's better. Um, there's a lot of new modern machining that has gone into this. So I'm not going to try and cover these right here because I am definitely going to get my grubby hands on one of these to do some proper in-depth video for you guys. We've been saying for a while that a lot of the future of firearms development is not actually the firearms, it's the optics. And Magpul, in collaboration with Maztec, have a really interesting scope that they're showing here. In fact, it's not actually a scope, it is a scope mounting system with a whole bunch of integrated electronics. They're going to do a number of things. Uh, one of them is actually electronically count rounds in magazines and rounds on one's person, which is pretty cool. They're, there's sort of all the components. Uh, they're then going to combine that with a number of things in the reticle display. Um, some that, you know, like what we saw with tracking point with a BDC calculation based on some environmental sensors, laser rangefinder, uh, cant of the rifle, compass heading. Uh, but, but most interestingly, I think perhaps uh, magazine capacity, uh, you know, current magazine capacity live updated. There's, there's a lot of interesting uh, potential to this entire system and it really is a, a very modular system and as you can see there sort of ooh, here we go we'll take a quick look at there there you go there's the reticle um, this one is not set up at the moment to show capacity anyway um, this is definitely something I want to get my hands on uh, once they release it which will probably be in nine months or a year or so and give you guys uh, some more an, an interesting look at this when it's ready for market Kalashnikov USA is introducing a couple new models. So what's kind of cool is they're they're going on two tracks. So they are both developing new commercial stuff like the, the shotgun variations here, but they're also um, putting out some of the classic standard AK configurations that can actually be kind of hard to get and are really well made. Um, of course, we're picking up, they had the KP9s based on the Vichas. And now the one that I think is really pretty cool is uh, the, they have it called the KR-104, which is the 12 and a half inch 762 by 39. So uh, when those get out into the market, that's something that I think will be really cool uh, to take a closer look at. And as they would like to uh, make known, they're also doing 545, uh, 556, this being a 556 one uh, with the, the side folder, but also 545, and 300 Blackout, which will also be an interesting AK development to see. So a couple of years ago, Holosun introduced a completely enclosed pistol optic, uh, their 509, to compete with the Acro uh, from uh, Aimpoint. However, what they have now are a pair of smaller versions, the EWS, which are on the same footprint as the, the little shield red dot sights. So this is the sort of thing that would fit on a gun like a P365. They have two different versions. Uh, one is just a little bit larger than the other, but they're both uh, shield footprint. And that is, uh, I think, a, a pretty interesting development. I like the idea of the enclosed optics, and I look forward to trying these out. 